think about that conversation that you had with the partners. Now, here's make fun of Texas a little bit. Here's the company in in rural Texas, right? Uh -huh. That's been successful. That's got a bunch of Texas boys that yep. have been running this business. They're good business people. They know their stuff, and they've gotten they've they've been successful without and the necessary nod to marketing or an expectation of marketing or any of that. Why in the world? And then on top of engineering and surveying, why do you even need to consider marketing at, at, at that time? That's really fascinating to me because most, most people go, well, you don't need to have marketing for a surveying company or yeah, why would right? You? Why? So what is wrong with you, Cody, that you would walk in and risk your, you know, the, the stock value you have as a valued team member and bring up a, a crazy topic of marketing when in their heads they're thinking, oh, you want to hire someone to do our social media? I'm not even on Facebook. That, right? <laughs> so... So what ha one of the things that happened that um, that kind of solidified our need to to grow up, you know, for lack of better words, uh, to mature uh, as a company in our, our marketing and branding, was um, we were we were competing at that about 2017 2018. I mean, we were competing with with some national firms for projects. I mean, we were we were going after some big projects. You know, we were the David and a Goliath industry at that point. You know, the there were some really big firms that we were competing against, and we were competing quite well. Um, but one of our customers, uh, you know, kind of friend to friend on the side, you know, told one of our partners, he said, look, here's the deal. Um, you're going after this project, and you want to get in, and you want to run with the big boys. But the problem is, is when we sit around – our, our board of uh, directors and, and, you know, we, we sit down as an energy company and we're talking about these big strategic projects and the contractors and vendors that might be good to partner with uh, because at that point you become a stakeholder in their project, you know? Mm -hmm. So when they look at stakeholders in their projects, um, we were competing with people that had done their homework and they had done the legwork mm -hmm. for branding and imaging and content and speak and, you know, when they show up on the job site, they, they, they had a nice well-branded truck and their shirts all look the same. And um, so the perception was exactly what we had become. We were a small, you know, we were, we were like, uh, you know, the, I don't know, the rebels really, you know, like, yeah, we were the misfits a little bit, but we were good and we were effective and disruptive, but we didn't look the part, right? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, when, when, when those uh, energy companies are sitting there looking at their projects and they say, well, we've got company A, B, and C, national level firms, well-branded, well-marketed. They all had business development guys that, you know, they were all, you know, they were in their face constantly. Um, we, we just could not compete from an image and perspective. Like they, they we were just outclassed, honestly, in, in that area. Now, Never mind the fact that we actually did better work than they did, and we actually gave our customers a, a better uh, customer experience because you know we were personal, nimble, agile for all intent and purposes. But we didn't look the part, 